My name is Ember Stevens, and I, today I'm going to be talking about how to impress a librarian, or more specifically, Boolean operators. Now, what is a Boolean operator, you ask? Well, a Boolean operator is a short word or symbol that helps make your online searches more precise. Things like and, or not, or parentheses. These Boolean operators can be used whenever you're doing a search in Google or a search in a library database. What's a library database, you ask? Well, it's a digital collection of print, uh, newspaper, and magazine articles that uh, are made searchable for you. Libraries pay for access to these databases so that you can go and then read articles uh, without actually having to have a subscription. So, let's get to it. Let's say you're going to search for the awesome band Queen. So you go to Google, you go to your database, you put in Queen, and this has probably happened to you before, you get tons and tons of results that have nothing to do with your topic. So you get Queen Size Beds, or Queen of Sheba, or Queen Elizabeth, or Queen Mary, nothing to do with the band Queen. Well. What can you do? You can use the Boolean operator and. You can put in queen and music. This will cut out all of the pages that just mention queen or just mention music and only return pages that mention both, such as the band's Wikipedia page, their music videos, etc. Now, in databases, you have to write out the word and. But if you're using Google, the and is implied. You don't actually have to type it out. So again, most of you have probably done this kind of search before. Now, the next Boolean operator I'm going to talk about is not. Let's say you have terrible taste in music and you're not interested in the band Queen. <laughs> queen, not music, will cut out everything that has to do with music, whether it mentions Queen or not. So you're left only with Queen Elizabeth, Queen Mary, Queen Size Beds, and so on. Now, in Google, uh, Google uses the minus sign rather than not, but if you're in a database, you'll have to type out the word not. The next Boolean operator I'm going to talk about is or. Let's say that you're interested in individual band members. So you can search for Freddie Mercury or Brian May. This will return pages that mention one, the other, or both. It's sort of like doing two searches at once. Now, once again, if you're in Google, you can use the vertical line symbol that's just above the Enter key on your keyboard, or you can actually type out OR. The catch is it has to be in all caps. So the next symbol is a parentheses. Now, parentheses can help you group your Boolean operators together. So for example, Queen and Music Videos or Band will find pages all that mention Queen, but they might either mention just band, just music videos, or both. The thing about parentheses is you have to pay attention to their placement. If you put them in the wrong place, just like math, you're going to get results that are unexpected. So the really nice thing about Boolean operators is you can keep adding them on exponentially. So you can say queen and music videos, or band, or rock, or power ballads, and on and on. And uh, you can really do a lot of things uh, with all these different operators. I'm going to show you an example of that at the end. But first, a few other useful symbols. The asterisk stands for uh, any number of letters in a word, so nurse asterisk stands for nurse, nurses are nursing. Uh, biology asterisk will get you, uh, will find biology, biological, or biologist. Quotation marks will keep two words together on a page, so uh, it's forced to search for that phrase rather than the individual words. Um, most of you have probably done this in Google before. And uh, the last one is a tilde. And this is only for Google. Most databases don't do this. But tildes will find close synonyms. So for example, uh, tilde, expensive cars, will find luxury cars or expensive cars. So let's put all of this together into a master search. Let's say you're interested in guitarist or bassist that played in glam rock or prog rock bands during the 70s and 80s, but you're sick and tired of hearing about Pink Floyd. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, put glam rock together with quotation marks, prog rock together, prog and the star will find progressive or prog rock, uh, 197 and the star, that'll find any year that's mentioned in the 1970s or maybe just the 70s, and of course, not Pink Floyd. 
So thank you very much. If you have any questions or comments, you can email me at ember.stevens at pdx.edu, or you can visit me at emberstevens.net. Thank you.